um, today we're officially on our way home. So we've just hit the 90 mile stretch on the Nullarbor and we're heading eastbound. So tonight we might be stopping off somewhere at Mandrabilla. Don't or, know. Don't know, we'll see what, how far we can drive before we get really tired. And then tomorrow we'll be in South Australia. Stay tuned. So we stopped at Belladonia for our first rest stop, poured some fuel, and now we're on this 90 mile stretch. So you can see literally no trees, just shrubs. For 160Ks. What was that, Rob? For 160Ks. <laughs> so now our next stop, I think, is St. Juna. St. Juna. St. Juna. Um, where we're going to probably have some lunch and then continue from there. Uh, we've also copped a fair bit of rain driving past these road trains. It's a little hectic when you, they cover your windscreen with water and you can't see where you're going. sunny west coast driving along the Malabar. This is the crap we're dealing with. Towing a van in this rubbish. So we pulled up at Cocklebitty here. Rob's topped up on fuel. And we've just pulled to the side. We're making a cup of coffee. I need a coffee. On the road. It's one of those dark and gloomy, wet days. Um, <clears throat> so we need to sort of, yeah, stay awake and alert. We've had a few rest stops along the way. And hopefully this coffee will um, give us a bit of a kickstart that we need as well to keep going for a bit longer. This is um, also that stop which I would have taped in the first episode when we are coming across to Western Australia where they've got those injured eagles here in that cage at the back there. Okay, we've pulled into Mundrabilla. We've done probably about 10 hours of actual driving today. So this is going to be our stop for the night, crossing the Nullarbor. And we ended up just pulling into this roadhouse here just so we can shower as we don't have an ensuite in our van um, and we are a bit all hot and bothered <laughs> so yeah but it's not a bad backdrop here I wish there was no clouds it would have been nice to see a, a sunset here on the Nullarbor tonight I'm just happy that the men's oh, yeah. have been renovated freshly painted yes Rob's all stoked <laughs> ours look a bit ours look a bit like something from Psycho and you think you're just going to get murdered behind the shower screen. <laughs> oh God. We're about to go there. <laughs> anyway, it'll be a nice shower. <laughs> so as long as there's no Psycho hiding in behind the shower screen. <laughs> okay, so we've had our showers here at Mundrabilla Roadhouse. And I just wanted to give you a bit of information. So I was joking around before about the showers you know looking like the movie psycho <laughs> um look for 15 dollars a night we've just got an unpowered spot so we really just wanted to have just some amenities for the night uh we did want to have a shower because it was hot today um and just have the toilet facilities um but like i said we're on an unpowered site 15 dollars a night you can't ask for anything more and we're just cooking up some dinner we're having pasta tonight i've got my wine it is a bit of a you know gloomy afternoon there's not much of a sunset a lot of cloud coverage but still nice we're still on the road still enjoying ourselves <laughs> there's something just in the middle of the road
And who's supposed to I know. You look fair way in. Well, a point of interest on this wiki was showing us that there was a teddy bear tree here and nowhere to pull over. So we're flying past and then you spot them there a fair way in. <laughs> just almost run off the road. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. And now there's a sock tree coming up. So I'm going to try from the sock tree. <laughs> I don't know where people find the time to stop and just decorate these trees with teddy bears, socks, pans, you name it. There's trees covered in them. It wasn't an event. It wasn't an event. Well, another non-event. There was a tree full of socks. <laughs> We've just stopped off at Eucala this morning to pour some fuel and we were just looking at this oh, little okay. sign. So on the home stretch, Sydney is still a fair distance away. Look at that. But Naomi's going to have a photo here with the whale. So we're in front of the welcome to sunny Eucala sign, but uh, it's not very sunny. We're about to pull into the Nullarbor Roadhouse. Rob's pissing himself laughing because for me it's all doom and gloom now. <laughs> We're pretty much heading home after this. Or well, actually, no, we've got one more stop which I'm looking forward to. So that will be tomorrow, won't it? If we, we get there. So I won't let you know too much. But anyway, here we are at the Nullarbor Roadhouse again. But we won't be staying here this time, just um, stretching our legs, getting some souvenirs, going to the bathroom. So we're crossing the South Australian uh, quarantine um, section. So. Rob's in the van at the moment opening fridges and stuff like that. I'm um, going through our fridges just to make sure we've got no fruit and veg in with us. So that's pretty much it. We've arrived at our next destination. So we're in South Australia 
in Coffin Bay but staying at Camp Niroka. So I'm just jumping out of the car to open a gate, which we haven't done in a while. Which way is this going to open? All right. I'll let Rob get past. Lock this gate again. Alrighty. And just when you think you've had enough of corrugations in WA, it's in there in WA. Yeah, you come into South Australia and you get more corrugations. <laughs> so we've arrived here at Camp Noyorka and we're going to have some lunch. No, what is it? Camp Naroka. Camp Naroka we've arrived at. And Rob has got himself some friends. We're trying to have some lunch here. But I think um, our friends aren't going to let us eat in peace. <laughs> this is where we've set up. They like biscuits too. Huh? So we're literally the only campers here at the moment. There's nobody here at this <laughs> I place. Love the way they run, it's so funny. Um, but there are powered sites. We're just doing unpowered for the next couple of days. There's a camp kitchen in there where Naomi's heading. You've got toilets in that block over there um, so yeah this is around Coffin Bay we're about 20 minutes away from Coffin Bay and we'll make our way over to Coffin Bay shortly Rob's friends the chickens <laughs> look how they're just waiting for you to keep feeding them <laughs> I love the way they run the funny so we've arrived in South Australia. We set up camp at, I always pronounce it wrong. Camp Naroka. Camp Naroka. Yeah. And uh, it's near Coffin Bay, but we've come out to the beach today. So this beach is called Greenleys Beach. How nice is this? We'll go down have a closer look, huh? Yes, we will. Hey, Amy. She's still trying to negotiate her. She's got to take the <laughs> boat track down. We decided to take the stairs down Normal way. and Naomi has decided to be a mountain goat and negotiate the shrubs over on that end. It's very clear, it's nice. <laughs> it is not. Oh, I'd, I'd get in. Wow. You wouldn't get in because you want to get in. You'd get in to say that it's not cold. It is not cold. It's actually not cold. You keep your feet in here. Yeah, right. It's Mom. nice. It's not cold. Yeah, right. <laughs> it stops being cold when your feet go numb. That's it's nice. We're like 17 degrees. Actually, you know what? I felt colder at the other place that we were in. 17 That's degrees. Nah, it's nice. It's nice. No, it's
So Nat, this one's for you. Uh, this is for my sister watching back in Sydney. She wanted us to go to these oyster vending machines, which yes. we have come to here in Coffin Bay. Yeah. And this is it. I wonder what's the difference between the blue and the red sticker. Oh. I'm not sure, we might have to find out. Order and then you just order, you punch in what you want. Here on the screen, pay for it, and grab it. Yep. Oh, here we go. What does it say? Settlement, it's just the glare. Yep. Okay, so you pay. So you get your card. Here's the card. Yeah, and we'll be used. I do need to. Yeah. To pay. Yeah. Oh, the cash is insufficient. Okay. So, no, pay by card. card yeah. Please continue okay. your card. Your mobile phone. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Authorizing. Thank you. Alright, watch it. Tape it, tape it. So then it opens it up for you. You grab your... Oysters. Oysters. And there we go. You look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we are. There you go, Nat. Oysters from a vending machine. <laughs> so there you go. That was our very first experience with oysters from a vending machine. But they were freshly shucked. Um, we just the setup of it is oyster um, farm here. So they've just got the vending machine at the front, and you just. Um, Go and purchase your oyster from the vending machine. Oh, I just caught Rob being a big kid again. You come back someday. Maybe we should get teams up on that other one. <laughs> so let's make the most of it. I remember what Do you feel like you're back in the 80s? Yep. <laughs> up in the fairies with kissing in the The only problem is I've got to be responsible and take care of kids and pay bills. <laughs> <laughs> now he's gonna take a swing on the biggest swing I've ever seen. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, he's gonna take a swing from this. Oh, no, he's still. I reckon I'm going to pull him off. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. Hopefully he does. <laughs> 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 Would you like assistance? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh. <laughs> These are the tour. Look at the tree. I don't care about the world. I don't care about what you've <laughs> you did it! Oh, it is a bit of a Wow! That's what I was thinking, we're going to smash into it. <laughs> so we've um, topped our oysters that we bought. So this is what $35 gets you, so that's two dozen fresh oysters which we've um, made Kilpatrick and just different seasonings yeah, on there. Some with a bit of chili, some with a bit of cheese, yep. bacon. So now we're just going to grill them. Yeah. We've made a rocket salad which yeah. I'm just about to dress. Yep. We're going to have some white wine, sit mm. outside and dig in. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy this snack because this one's for you. See you soon. <laughs> I don't know which one I should Okay, so the oysters are cooked. We've got our white wine, made the salad. So, we've got 24 oysters to dig in. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> I'm try this one first. All right. Tell us. So this is the one with a bit of cheese on it. Mm. Mm. There you go, Wait, coffin bait oysters. Thumbs up. I did it. 
Look, buddy. So we've come out, we've had a bit of a dip in here. You can't really stay in there too long. It is only like 17 degrees, the water, even though the outside temperature is quite warm. We are in South Australia. So anyway, I did get to enjoy it. Rob and Naomi are reading a book under the shade the shelter. So for our last night here in Coffin Bay, we've decided to dine out at 1802. It's a seafood restaurant, mostly yeah, seafood. It's an oyster bar. Yeah, oyster bar. So it's called 1802. And we thought we'd sit outside, it's a nice night. It's not blowing a gale, it's not cold. So we're looking forward to our little seafood extravaganza. <laughs> you okay. okay. So we've got some bocconcini bombs here to start off with. There's a starter and the focaccia of bread. So let us know, Naomi. Don't burn yourself. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, let's dig in. Let's dig in. So our mains have come out. Rob's ordered himself. <laughs> you are the best. It will destroy me. <laughs> He's got his fish and chips. We got Noki with Naomi. Noki. 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 As we're making our way back home, we're traveling through South Australia and one of the towns that we pulled into is called Snowtown. We found a station stay here in Snowtown. It's called Hummock Station. It's brilliant. It's just a sheep farm. And they've got a few powered sites here, probably about, I'd say maybe 10 powered sites. And the unpowered, you can just park anywhere around here. So the, we stayed in the powered one last night because we've been free camping the last few days. So we just needed to recharge a few things and stuff like that. Exactly, I don't know if you could hear Rob from the wind here, but um, it was that hot. We also wanted to be able to run the air con, so that's why we chose the powered site. But they're all pretty level sites here. They've got a camp kitchen. The amenities block is just around the back over there and you've got like a function center here as well so this is perfect for people that want to go and you know um, do wine tasting in the Barossa Valley um, you're not that far so this is a perfect place to set up camp and explore the region from here and for the three of us so two adults and one child it was $50 for a powered site for the night yeah and it is during school holidays so it is I'd imagine a little bit cheaper out of school holidays. So we've taken off to head towards Victoria today, but as we were driving, we came across a pink lake and it's actually got the Loch Ness Monster in there. <laughs> so Naomi and I made Rob stop, pull over, and we're gonna race out and have a look at this um, Loch Ness Monster. I don't know if the we can statue, actually- it's not like, obviously- <laughs> I don't know if we can actually step out on it. It looks like, if there's water in there, so um, it's not dry. Anyway, that's where we are. Lake Bum Bumbunga. <laughs> Bumbunga.
Victoria. Welcome to Victoria. Well, this is interesting. Rob loves his uh, freshly barbecued type of stuff. I, know, I, I do. That's what I'm eating at home. You gonna try a piece of? Oh, well. So this is it. We're 40 minutes away from home. Trip has come to an end. How do you all feel? Oh, it's just, I don't know. It feels mixed emotions. Yeah. It was a, probably 200 days on the road. Yeah. yeah. And actually getting back home sort of felt like a bit of a whirlwind. Since leaving WA, we only had really about a, a week to make it home, if that. Yeah. Um, only reason being is we went and uh, paid our daughter, our eldest daughter, a visit in Melbourne. So we spent a couple of days with her. And we literally took one day, like we came back into New South Wales, yeah, back yeah, home. Melbourne, 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 Melbourne. And here we are, training. Yeah, look at that. I might just turn around and go straight back to the next mouth. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Who's in? Me! <laughs> Me! Well, anyway. Wow, we're literally five minutes from home. I don't know how I feel. Um, it's been seven months on the road. We've loved every minute of it. We were looking forward to it and now knowing that it's come to an end, we're literally going to be walking through the door in the next five minutes is a bit, um, I don't know, mm. overwhelming, I don't know. It wasn't just the seven months on the road, what about the two years of planning for it, you know, and so your mind's probably the last close to three years preoccupied with this trip. Yeah. What do you talk about now after this? <laughs> your memories but from it. In saying that, um, it's not the end, stay tuned, we're going to release a few more episodes talking about how we all um, cope living together for seven months on the road, um, what we all experienced. We'll also talk about what we've overpacked, things that we wish we'd known or you know didn't need to bring. Yeah, there'll be plenty of more to show you. Um, and and that, and, that and where we live is beautiful. And so we do do a lot of hikes and snorkeling and swimming and stuff in some awesome beaches and um, forests around where we live. So there might be a few episodes of that of, um, around Jervis Bay. Yeah, for anyone wanting to visit the area, that'll be um, a great opportunity for you to see it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> that is so yeah. cute. Oh, oh even all this. <laughs> Love it. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm greeted by these guys every morning here in front of our van. They'd literally come into our van if I'd let them. And they, they can't seem to get enough food. They don't know when to stop. Your dad keeps feeding them crackers and they've eaten a whole box of crackers. There's no crackers left for us. Are there?